Today, I'm going to show you how to make 10 secret rooms in Blacksburg. Before the video starts, please go down and subscribe. My goal for the end of 2023 is to reach 100,000 subscribers, so any support is greatly appreciated. First, I'm going to show you what every secret entrance looks like, and then I'm going to build them. This looks like a normal kitchen, but there's actually a secret door. Get close to the fridge, and you will be able to open it. In this living room, click on the carpet, and the floor will open up to a secret room. If you get close to the fireplace, you will be able to open the chimney. Stand near the mirror in this bathroom and you will be able to open it. This pantry has a hidden room behind the back shelves. If you angle your camera behind this bed, you will be able to interact with a door and move the bed. This door leads to a secret room underneath the stairs. This garden looks normal, but there's actually a hidden trap that is flush with the grass. This shower is functional, so once you're done showering, open the hidden door behind it. And finally, walk through this painting and you will be in a hidden room. Now that we have gone over what the secret entrances look like, here is how to build them. Place a tall half cabinet and put a bookshelf secret door underneath it. Buy a fridge to use as a size reference. Place a basic shape and make it the same size as the fridge. Make the height of the cube 7.5. Now use two basic shapes to make the panels of the fridge. Make sure to place the cube on top of the fridge before you transform it so the doors are connected. For the door handles, place a basic shape then size the length and width to the smallest they can go. The height of both handles should be 2.2. Put the handles on top of the fridge so they connect then transform them down. Now that you have the fake fridge, place it on the bottom shelf of the bookshelf and transform it down to the floor. Put some counters on the side of the fridge and that's it. You should be able to interact with the fridge when you get close to it. Make a basement and leave a 2x1 hole where you want to fall down. Place a wall in the basement and put a bookshelf secret door in the center. Switch to the small grid and change to variable place height. Move the bookshelf slightly up so the top is barely sticking out of the floor like this. Put a basic shape on the top shelf and use the transform tool to move the shape to the middle of the hole. Now scale it to cover the hole. Place a basic shape behind the bookshelf and make sure it's placed on the floor. Transform the shape down so it is slightly sticking out of the floor. Using the large grid size, place a round carpet on top of the shape. If you do not see the bookshelf sticking through, move the carpet then slightly move the basic shape down. It should look like this. Paint the bookshelf to the color of your carpet and you are finished. If you want to open it, you have to click the bookshelf because the interact button does not pop up on its own. Put a fireplace on your wall. Get a bookshelf secret door and change to variable place height. Now use the large grid to place the bookshelf like this. You should see the bottom of the shelf sticking through the fireplace. Color the bookshelf to the brick color inside of the fireplace. Next, get a basic shape and place it on the shelf right above the fireplace. Bring it forward and then scale the shape to whatever size you want. And to finish it off, place any TV that mounts to the wall. As you can see, the fireplace works, the TV works, and you can open the chimney. Start off by placing a bookshelf secret door. Use variable place height and the medium grid size to make the bookshelf slightly float. The top should look like this. Now use basic shapes to make the wall stick out just enough to cover the bookshelf. Put a shape in the middle but leave it at the normal cube height. Place two counters down. Put a basic shape in the middle of the counters and scale it to whatever size you want your mirror to be. Put a borderless horizontal mirror on the basic shape and scale it up. Select the basic shape using the transform tool and make the mirror flush with the wall. If you have a gap above the mirror, you can use a basic shape to cover it up. Just make sure to not place the shape on the bookshelf. To finish it off, you can add a vanity light and some decorations. And that's it. The mirror should now open like this. Make a 2x2 two two room, then place a bookshelf secret door backwards. Use basic shapes to make the door flush with the wall. Clone one of the previous shapes and put it on the bottom shelf. Then use the transform and scale tool to seal off the door. Using the large grid, place a basic shape on the second shelf and make it stick halfway through the wall. Scale it all the way down and make it 5 units wide. Now clone the shape and put one on each shelf. It should look like this on the pantry side. If you think the shelves are not deep enough, you can use the transform tool to bring them out a bit. Just know that the further you bring them out, the harder it'll be to get into your room. When you're done, test the door to make sure it works. 
If you are happy with it, you can add some decorations and even extend the shelves using basic shapes. Build a basement, then fill it in with a floor. Leave a 2x2 two two gap where you want your bed to go. Place a wall in the basement and put a bookshelf secret door in the middle. Now get a modern single bed to use as a reference. Scale a cube to the size of the bed frame. Next, get a smooth cube and put it on top of your custom bed frame. Resize it to make it look like a mattress. When you finish, color your bed. Now separate the shapes and move the bed frame to the top shelf of the bookshelf. Use the transform tool to move it above the floor. Now move it back towards the wall. Make sure you leave a slight gap between the bed and the wall because this is how you will open it. Now get the mattress and put it on a shelf. Use the transform tool to put it on top of the bed frame. And finally, use basic shapes to fill in the holes around the bed. If you want to put pillows on the bed, you will have to first put them on the floor, then use the transform tool to move them into place. And now the secret entrance is finished. To open it, move your camera to look behind the bed and click on the corner. Place deck stairs or any staircase that floats. Place three walls just like this. Now get a cube and scale it to the size of a wall. Make the height of the cube exactly 8. Clone the cube and place another one right beside it. This time, make the height 4. Use horizontal wedges to fill in the sharp edges. Color your walls, then put a flush secret door. Color the door to the same color as the walls. Now you have a working staircase that also has a hidden room underneath. Build a basement and put a cube in the center of the hole. Scale the cube to be slightly lower than the grass level. Put a simple carpet on top of the cube and scale it to cover the basement. If you are making the trap outside, then make the color camo and use the lush grass texture. If not, then color it to whatever your floor is. If the carpet is not flush with the floor, then move it and use the transform tool to slightly adjust the cube. After a couple attempts, you should get something like this. Once you're happy with it, delete the cube and you're done. Place a bookshelf secret door on the wall and make it backwards. Place a cube and scale it to cover the door. Make the height of the cube the same height as your walls. You should have something like this. If you have extra walls beside the secret door, you can clone the cube to make it flush. Now to make the doors work, select the cube that covers the door and put it on the bottom shelf. Use the transform tool to move it back into place. And finally, place your shower. Use the small grid and variable place height to make the drain touch the floor. When you're done, it should look something like this. You can also use the shower. Get a basic opening and scale it to the size of your painting. Now get a cube and scale it to be as small as possible. Put the cube in the middle of the opening. It's okay if it's not perfect because you can adjust it later. Get a decal and put it on the cube. Now get out of build mode and change the decal to whatever you want. Scale the decal to cover the opening. If the painting's not in the right place, select the cube with the transform tool and adjust it. And that's it. You now have a painting that you can walk through. And that was how to make 10 secret rooms in Bloxburg. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, so any support is greatly appreciated. If you want to follow me, my socials are on the screen and in the description. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to stick around for another video.